What is the Minnesota Center for Environmental Advocacy? Um, it's a group of environmental advocates that um, bring legal expertise and scientific expertise to um, a variety of environmental challenges and problems uh, the world faces. What does your organization bring to the REAM community? We have taken on with our clients big cases like Big Stone um, and brought our legal expertise to fights like that and when I say legal expertise I also am talking about the ability to work with experts because you need experts to win these cases it's a complex area. Why do you choose to direct your efforts towards Big Stone? Big Stone is a very good poster child of the old world of energy production. They've tried to do nothing innovative. Um, they're really taking a chapter out of how we used to produce energy um, in this country and are trying to see that it have life in the current day. There's the opportunity of being multi-state um, utilities involved so that it really draws on uh, what REAMP is about, I think, in that we've got proceedings in South Dakota, we've got proceedings in North Dakota, we've got proceedings in Minnesota, plus national environmental review. Um, and so we've got all of these um, areas to cover and we are really meeting and using the collaboration of, of groups in all of these states um, to bring the fight. What's your favorite green? <laughs> um, there's not many grains that I don't like. I mean, the, there's so many great grains out there. Um, however, I think my favorite is wild rice. Um, I like the fact that it's that we call it wild rice and it's not really related to rice. Why do you do what you do? Society needs to address this for our uh, future and the future of our kids and so I, I know it's important and then per, on a personal level it energizes me to be trying to understand the complexities of these issues. What does REAMP bring to MCEA? It brings um, a, a forum for collaboration and collaboration I think is, is harder than it sounds. The interesting thing about the Big Stone case is that it has been very natural to be collaborating with the case in North Dakota, even though I'm not the lawyer handling the case in North Dakota. That kind of collaboration, I don't think we would um, be engaged in without REAMP, not because we don't believe in collaboration, but we just don't, uh, the, the REAMP process or the structure tells us who we need to be talking to um, easily and um, why we're all working together and what we're ultimately trying to achieve and what we're ultimately trying to achieve is bigger than any of us individually. Mm -hmm.